Cleveland Pacers tasting postseason success for the first time in 10 years. Do not attach any association of this to me whatsoever. This has not been a good day for me at all. I tried for hours to upload the Clippers video. YouTube wasn't having it. I'm at my wits end. And then I get this. This was somewhat inevitable, but I had hoped, I had dreamed that this wouldn't be so. But to be honest with you, this is all you guys deserve. After this tumultuous year, this nonsense of you going through coaches like toilet paper, you don't deserve anything but this. I'm clocking in. That clock been rusted and broken most of the year. What are we doing, Dame? What is this? This is more defense than you played the entirety of the series and you still couldn't steal the ball. Four for 12 in a win or go home game. Congratulations to the Indiana Pacers. 10 years since the last time they won a playoff game. You go from last year and not even making the playoffs to going to the semifinals this year. Incredible. I'm sure we all felt the series was over or potentially over once Giannis got injured. Same as last year where he got injured in the first round. And it was just up to the Bucks to maybe hold on. But even with Giannis, you guys were getting smacked around by the Pacers during the regular season with only, I believe, one win. And Giannis had to score over 60 points in that game. Then when Dame went down, I said, just, just pack it up. This, this isn't going to work. He could play hobbled and then it's still just not going to do anything. This Bucks team doesn't have enough. Even with the both of them out there, they just can't figure out how to coexist with one another. Doc Rivers actually somewhat made that a little bit better than Adrian Griffin did this season, just seeing how he was able to utilize both Giannis and Dame in a pick and roll and have them play off one another in a two-man game. But it really was like a marginal increase at that, and that's kind of me being nice. Pacers had far too many fast break points this game, and then at one point I remember seeing there was like a 22 to 1 differential in points from both respective benches 22 to 1 what is happening doc doc look at me doc this was my team to make it to the final <laughs> what a waste of glaze man my god i ask you guys to do one thing just look good look dominant that should be easy with Giannis. An MVP, a perennial MVP guy, and Dame, hardworking, Mamba mentality-esque shooter, and you guys come together and produce shit all. This season was so nasty and gross. They couldn't even get to 50 wins. They clinched a playoff spot on an L. Dysfunction abound, refusing to play in defense for most of the season, and then we got this here. Look, Pat, is this dodgeball? Did you think that was Budenhoser sitting there or something, Pat? Throw the ball at yourselves. Did y'all think I forgot about this? No, no, never. This right here, this is the reason why this season went to shit. I take no responsibility. I don't know how to spell accountability. There is nothing wrong I did. They did this to themselves. Flavor Flav is the one that sunk this franchise. Doc Rivers as well. You know, 60% Doc, 30% Flavor Flav, 10% everybody else. Wait, no, I forgot. When they hired Doc, Doc asked why. Why? Have you ever heard a coach ask why? Why would you hire me? Why would you bring this evil here? Why would you offer me money to coach? Oh, this, not even 60, 40, but no, the, the 40 percent. I hate math. This everybody is at fault. I hate everybody. You know, what makes this even worse is the fact that this Eastern Conference this year had more holes in it than SpongeBob. And these Bucks struggled. If you put this Bucks team in the West, 
They would barely have as many games as the Warriors with how they were playing. Losing games they shouldn't have been losing. Struggling to win games against teams they shouldn't be struggling against and getting their backs blown out by the ones who should be their primary competition or their rivals. With the Celtics earlier this year and some others like, like, like what? I give a lot of kudos to Middleton because when they brought Dame in, you didn't hear a word from Middleton in a way of complaints or feeling like, oh, what a, well, I, I was a second option for so long, even during the championship run. And now I got to take a back seat to this guy. It's just unproblematic. Great person to have in a locker room. He was born clutch, solid guy, solid, good player to have on your team. But who else do you have? And what trades do you make? I hope you make trades to get younger. Because this team has gotten to the point, it's just, you you guys can't really run and gun or do anything. These Pacers outran you this entire game and you didn't put any hustle, not really any desire to try to run up there to the court, like to stop these fast break points. It's excessive. It was horrible, horrendous. You need to get a younger squad. And the fact that this team is so reliant upon Giannis, I believe teams that are too reliant upon a star, no matter how good they are, it doesn't really bode well, in my opinion, for your future and just having to deal with possibilities of being without said star. When they go on the bench, are you able to go on a run? Are you able to keep the momentum or keep the other team from getting back in the game? This offense ground to a halt. They could not do anything worth a damn against the Pacers. Every possession was a struggle. I damn near felt like you should have just thrown Thanasis out there to have an Antetokounmpo touch the court so you could play better. And there were some egregious foul calls in this game that didn't go particularly well for the Bucks. I think it was more skewed against the Bucks and in favor of the Pacers, but it wouldn't have mattered. You guys got so many more free throws than them, and it still didn't make one damn bit of difference. You got blown out. You got outworked. You just looked old out there. If I'm Giannis, I'm walking around towards the end of the season everywhere I go in a bubble. This is unacceptable. Getting injured at the exact same time as last year? Can we do something about that? The injuries in general so far these playoffs have, it's ruined and killed a lot of the excitement that I had. Way too many injuries. Like, it's ridiculous. And it's to multiple star players. Do you say, well, they have the highest usage rate. They're asked to do more. Them being stars are going to have high leverage minutes and all that. That's why... I'm not buying that entirely. That can be some of the reason, but you know, I'm going to save that for another video. I'm just downright distraught. I'm, I'm it's just so, it's just, uh, I want to, I picked this. It's just, I put my faith in this team and this is how they repay me. I just can't tell me what you guys thought about this game. What do you guys think about the next series with the Pacers, who they end up facing? And what do you think the Bucks offseason will look like? What do you think this team needs in order to get them back to what they once were before Jimmy Butler ripped their hearts out last year? Comment below. Let me know. Like and subscribe if you are new. And I will see you on the next one.